Good morning, Wandering Shepherd family. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Central Florida. And um, today I'm gonna be putting back the seats on the pontoon boat just before the hurricane hit, Hurricane Ian. I tried to dismantle as much off the boat as I could out of fear that, uh, that anything that could fly away would fly away. So therefore, as a sense of precaution, I went on ahead and I dismantled the seats, took them all apart stored them inside the house. Now it's about a month later and my wife has started seeing the mess in the living room. So therefore time to put them back in. So anyways, I'm gonna cover in this video how to uh, install pontoon seats. Sometimes people get intimidated by this. It's not as complex as you may think. It's actually pretty straightforward. And um, yeah, so stick around. have my assistant Benny he's gonna be helping me do the actual pontoon seats say hi Benny hi Bobby that's my buddy that's my buddy this dog follows me everywhere that I go it's always with me anyways let's get to it you're gonna have to excuse the mess please obviously the, the, the boat has been in the storage yard and this is the actual seat base this is from deckmate and the way that it comes, it comes with four screws, which you see me that I have actually installed straight into the actual flooring itself. Um, there is really no science to this. You know, you, you find a placement on the boat where you wanna place this thing, and you simply just screw it down with the actual provided bolts. That secures the base. It is strong enough for this, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, if you've seen that, that's just from the fence. And I cut through so this way I can install it down there. Um, this way I can actually have the fence moving. Uh, I'm sorry, secured. But this is actually very, very straightforward. It's just four screws. Pick your spot. Doesn't really matter. There is no preset location for these screws. Pick whatever you think works best for you. Obviously, the closer to the corners that, that you can get, the, the better. I put that one there. Obviously, because of the fact that I had this one here, it would have been really hard to get the actual drill to line up properly there. So I put that one there. But as you can see with this one, this one's closer to the actual wall, to the actual corner itself. So is this one, and so is that one over there. Um, the next thing that you're gonna have is, you're gonna have the mounts for the actual seat base. They do provide the actual hardware for these as well. And all it is doing is you are installing these brackets that are here are gonna go and be secured onto those two screws that are there. That's what secures that. You have two here, you have two there. And that secures the actual seat base, which would then end up flipping up this way um, whenever you wanted to, you know, either clean on the inside or, or store things inside. Usually I keep things at the life, life vest in here and other miscellaneous safety equipment will be stored in here. Obviously, I have to wipe all the stuff down out too. Clean the inside, clean the actual cushions. The actual backside, <coughs> excuse me, or the actual backrest You'll notice that you have four slots right here. The actual backrest will actually sit inside. It has four bolts that stick through each of those things. And that way you can actually shift it around a little bit if you needed to, depending on the alignment that you have uh, going on. And then it will be secured from the bottom with uh, with a butterfly nut, washers and lock washers. Pretty straightforward. It takes maybe five minutes to install one of these things. Uh, but just in case if you if you were ever wondering, it really is that simple. There's, you know, if you're handy with uh, with basic tools, like a screwdriver, you can get this thing done, like I said, inside of five minutes. So why pay someone else to do something you can do for yourself? This is the actual Anyways. backrest, and this is where the actual four bolts go into play. These bolts are straight through bolts. You will screw them in, and you wanna screw it in just under halfway. The reason you wanna go just under halfway versus the full halfway is because obviously you need to have enough room to account for the actual plastic and the thickness of the plastic in that section over there that I showed you earlier. So you have them in there approximately just under halfway. That will sit right into those little slots that we saw earlier. And then from the bottom, you will put your actual nut, I'm sorry, the actual washer, the lock washer, and the butterfly nut 
to actually tie it all together. As far as the hardware is concerned, these right here by my thumb, this is actually what holds the actual backrest in place and secures it. While the ones on my fingertips are the ones that are gonna be secured into these actual posts. So obviously you have four, two for each side, and then you have four sets of the actual washer, uh, lock nut, and butterfly nut for each one of the actual four stands that are here. Now I'm not gonna show myself actually securing the actual backrest or the actual seats to the actual base themselves. I have to assume that if you're watching this video, you at least know how to uh, do that much. So I'm not gonna bore you with uh, silly details like that, but it really is, it's simple. Um, thank you for watching. This has been The Wandering Shepherd and until next time, take care of each other and God bless.